All right, so today I didn't show the disassembly, but I took off the carbs. I'm gonna clean that area up right there. But what we're doing is when I redid the carbs, I didn't know how to kind of mess with these, the assembly that rides the uh, slide, throttle slide up and down. So I didn't take out the emulsifier tubes and what ended up happening is things were running real rough. And this is the only thing I didn't change. This has been in the ultrasonic cleaner for 20 minutes and looks good and I can blow through it. But when I got it out, I could not even blow through the tube and it was covered with almost like a grease. So I don't even think one of these carburetors was even getting any gas to that cylinder, which obviously is bad. So I have to go through, take off these two bolts, pull out the slide, here, uh, put a screwdriver down there and pop the emulsifier tube out the bottom here, and which is nervous because you don't want to damage it because these are actually pretty nice and might want to try to reuse this, but um, I think I'm going to throw in a brand new one, although they're kind of looking like they're different sizes. But uh, I got to do that for each one. So I'm going to try to do one, fix it, get it all back together, and then move on to the other one. All right, so I got this one back together, which is I put this screw in first. It's got a little bit of, um, be careful, there's a, there's a uh, little piece that's in this screw that will fall out and you'll lose it if, you, if you're not careful. Let me see if I can show you. Oh, yeah. So it's right here. There's a little cylinder that goes in the hole and it pushes down on the ball that the this goes in too. So the screw has a thing and then there's one under it too. So be careful about that. Anyways, I got these in. I have a screwdriver here that is a little smaller than the hole going in here and the emulsifier tube because there's a, it actually gets thinner around the in, inside. So if you find something that will push in just inside that hole, and then I already tapped it, so I know it's gonna come out, but you wanna, I have a hammer and I tapped it. It's just a uh, press fit. This one I think was fine because I, I know I can see through it. The other one was completely blocked, so probably was a huge part of the problem. And this one already looks better. And that's what this one looks like. And I, I mean, I have it, but I don't think it showed up very well last night. This was all covered in a layer of like, like almost like lithium grease. And you couldn't see through it. You couldn't blow through it. So I'm sure that carb was doing nothing, which is a big part of the problem. This one looks good. I'm going to put it in the ultrasonic cleaner for about 20 minutes. And I might just put this one back in because I think this one's going to be okay. Uh, but yeah, that's the, I was scared to do this because I didn't know how this assembly worked. It's not as bad as you think. There's some tabs to make sure the, uh, the bolts don't come loose, but it's, as long as you know that there's a little thing inside the screw and then one under it, it's pretty easy to put together. And I'm just going to go down the line, get all new emulsifier tubes in there, or maybe use the old ones once they're clean. But uh, I'm excited. This is, uh, this is something I've been wanting to do and I think it's gonna make a huge difference. You know what, I am, this is the new one. I'm just gonna switch them out. I'm still cleaning it, but I'm gonna switch it out with a new one just because how much difference could it make? So put this back together and move on to the third. A little trick, since this is press fit, I'm gonna drop this in here and you'll see it only goes to about right there before you have to start kind of hammering it but it's brass so you know it's so i put a little um zip tie down there and then i can press fit it like that and then i can't do it with one hand but then i come back through with a just a little tap on there to seat it but i never touch metal on metal it's always on the zip tie and it seems to have worked pretty well little trip trick to help you not damage any brass piece that's going in all right so i got it all back together and if you've ever struggled with 
the four carbs in between the rubber and the air box rubber. You'll know that that's not an easy thing. And then especially when I forgot to add the spring to the, the throttle return. And so I had to do some sort of magic back there to get that working. So it did make a difference. I'll show you. I'm going to start her up with the kicker. Getting there and everything's sounding good. It's awesome. 